Three, two, one, go. All right, so I'm making a um, thumbnail actually for the Symmetry Crash Course. And I just figured I would record it and just hang out. So if you want to just come and hang out, maybe this will be a sort of tutorial as well, or a character tutorial. I guess it might as well be. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to, I actually don't know what I'm going to make. But it's going to be cool, I hope. Horns. This is mainly what I wanted. I just wanted something for something to be symmetrical. That was the main objective. But you know how it is. Cylinder. Let's run back the cylinder. We have the plane too. We'll leave the plane out of it. Okay. So let's get. Well, let's let's make the cylinder really big. And let's bring these guys up some room to work with so let's make a little character let's just do a we'll make it into a little tutorial so the character needs a head for these beautiful horns maybe something like this maybe we can take these and angle them back a little bit and he looks like uh, he would have since we're doing symmetry I'll try to use all like symmetry type things so let's clone this I'm going to call this one head let's validate it and now we can mirror this one and let's make like cheeks like the shape of his head I think that works here we go I think that works oh he needs ears too doesn't he I think he needs ears so let's uh, let's just validate these I'm not going to think too much. I'm just going to try to work. I'm just going to try to do the work. Cylinder, let's call this floor. It's important to label things because things get out of hand real quick. I mean, real quick. So I'm going to put the plane and the floor down here, out of the way. Uh, I guess I should validate the horns too, since I'm talking about putting in the work. I got to turn that off. That is so annoying. Anyway, I don't, I'm not gonna figure it out now. Okay, so let's add, what else, what else? Shvia, oh, that's right, we wanted to do ears, didn't we? What's the best way to do ears? Let's make this the little like snout thing. I'm not sure how I wanna put that. It needs to be kind of squarish. So let's, where are my tools? Let's turn on some symmetry. Let's turn on X and, oh no, let's just turn on X. And let's use move. So make sure we're on the snout, snoot. And I just want to kind of stretch this out. Maybe just the top. Yeah, I like just the top. I think that's cute. Does it want to, does it want to be a little bit lower? I like that. Okay, so we need an area for the eyes. So I'm thinking I'm going to use clay symmetry and let's clay away. I love saying that. Let's make, I haven't, actually haven't done this in a while. I haven't made like my little separations for the, for the eyes. Sometimes I do a crease first. If I'm feeling like it's too much pressure, I'll do a crease. To kind of get an idea of where I want the eyes. 
I think that's decent. What if I want them a little bit lower? What about like here? I think that's better. So now we can use clay and sub and we can just kind of work this. It's okay, we're just seeing a little bit of that cheek. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let's take this sphere and the, the head and the cheeks. And do we want to do the snoot as well? Tricky. Tricky, do I want to? You know what, let's do it. Let's do it. Is this it? Yeah, this is the snoot. Let's do it. Let's voxel remesh. Let's do a quick save. But let's voxel remesh. I'll be impressed if anyone's like doing this tutorial with me. Ooh, we need to subdivide. When it does that, go here, multi-res, subdivide up these shapes. Let's see if we can do it now. Head, sphere, cheeks. Nice. Okay, that's much better. So I'm just gonna take, we could do round edge, but sometimes round edge is a little not strong enough. So you just do good old fashioned smooth. Make all these shapes nice and smooth, nice and organic. Looks good. And if you feel like you can't get it as smooth as you want, just box remesh it lower. Just remesh it lower and then just smooth away and it will soften up. It'll definitely soften up if you box remesh lower. Get get those ugly seams out of there. Then you can just box remesh it back up high. So it's a little bit stronger. Okay, I'm gonna flatten. Take the flatten tool and flatten this up here. Okay, I wanna use clay or inflate? Clay, let's use clay. I like to kind of enhance, whoop, let's take it off sub. I like to enhance the, you know, the brow area. Smooth that out, make it look nice and clean. Okay, so it looks pretty good. I feel like we might be able to move this back some. Oh, really? You're going to be all the way down there? Pivot makes no sense. Pivot, center, pivot makes no sense when it does that. I don't understand. He needs a back of the head, right? That's what it is. He needs he needs a back of the head. So let's use a sphere. I'm supposed to be doing like a bunch of other tutorials. I want to do, I'm going to have to do like a bunch of tutorials because I'm going on vacation. So I'm going to be gone for a while, but I just can't, I can't bring myself to not post. I'm, I'm that insane about it. I can't bring myself to not post. I'm gonna validate and then use move with symmetry on so we can sort of just wanna kinda of make this a little more heady. Why does it look so crazy? I don't mind. I actually don't mind this. Don't mind that. Little head situation. Maybe we'll bring the side out a little bit. So now we can take, now we have a little bit more real estate. We can bring these back even. Do we, oh, we validated them. I'm, I was thinking about making them, making them wider at the base, but we already validated them. Get this 
bottom part can like come up a bit. Okay, nice. So let's take, uh, we might as well box and remesh those two parts together, right? Do a quick save. Box will remesh those two parts together. We'll do it at like 150. Ooh, even though it does, that does ruin the, we'll do it at 200. And then we'll just smooth this out. Okay, there we go. It's nice and smooth. Those chubby cheeks. Maybe we should, maybe I want to flatten this a little bit. These, fat, these chubby cheeks. Also, I feel like they should be chubbier more like in the front. So I'm just going to take clay and just chub them up. <laughs> Is that a term? term anyone's ever used before? Probably so. so. Hopefully they smooth. If not, we'll just have to voxel remesh lower. Not that bad. I'm still gonna box where you much lower. Yeah, if I start seeing things and it's just not as smooth as I want, I just voxel remesh lower and I'm like, I have to do this again. I don't take lumpy sculpts. I just don't. I don't do that. Can't do it. Okay, let's box remiss this back up. And let's flatten again. Okay. It's nice and flat there. Smooth it out a little bit. Add some clay again to the, ooh, that's big. We'll add some clay up here. Smooth it out. So let's add some eyes in there. So this is the head. We'll add some eyes with spheres. And we'll use a mirror, so we'll bring it to eye sort of position. We'll do a mirror. here. I'll just go ahead and validate and we can just move it. I want, them, I want it to be yeah kind of like longer eyes like that. I like it. I haven't done any characters like this in so long. It's crazy. And maybe we want to maybe we want to do different something different on both. So let's, I want to make an eye. Um, let's take, let's take the, let's clone these. I'm going to name this one lids. So we cloned everything. We cloned the whole mirror. This one's eyes. So I'm going to rename it eyes. So lids. So this sphere, I want to take this out of the, I'm going to take it out of the, um, out of the mirror. Which one is this? Now I got to figure out which one this is. Of course, it's the, the wrong, the opposite one that I want it to be. That's okay. So we'll just do it on this eye. So I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I always do that. I always, um, I got to take all this and just tilt it forward. Somehow I always have it so forward is never forward. Okay, so this is going to be the lid. Again, it's doing that zoom thing. I absolutely hate it. So let's trim the lid. 
maybe like, I think that's fine for my needs. Maybe I'll use round edge instead. This fox will remesh it, make it a little softer. We got a little bit pivot, center, pivot. Uh, let's take it. I guess it doesn't matter if it's on the line. I want it to just come straight out this way, so I have to change the pivot. Straight out that way. Can even bring it up. Good. Okay, and maybe I want a little bit of a maybe I want a little bit of a curve in this. Like I feel like maybe this side would be like curved up a little bit. Yeah. I like that. This side we can just have instead of the whole lid, let's just have like a little spot here. Let's turn off symmetry. Like instead of a lid, he just has his little, his regular little lid there. Oh, and also since we did, mm, if this is, if this eye is like this, would this eye be up maybe? Maybe this would be up a little bit. So let's just take drag. And let's drag this up. Really give it some personality. Maybe we'll flatten this a little bit. Keep that nice and flat. There we go. So let's also let's take the eye. Um I'm just gonna clone it, bring it out. Hopefully it's the correct eye. Of course it's not. I'm gonna delete it. So I'm gonna add a sphere. I wanna make the upper eyelid. I have a better idea, I have a better idea. I'm gonna delete this, I'm gonna take these eyes and then I'm gonna validate them and uninstance them. So now they're two separate pieces. So now I can take this eye and clone it. And this will be eye up lid. So now I can just move it up. And shrink it. Move it around there, and then I can just take move or drag, and I can just kind of like drag it down as I need. Or drag it up as I need. I think that's what's more important here. Maybe we'll smooth it, it'll lose some shape, make it a little more. Not so. Also, I might want to like tilt it back or a little or something. It's a little too. No. No. Uh. Feels like this would be on like maybe this eye. Instead, now I'm just kind of like freestyling it, trying to make this thing work, even though I'm not sure if it does. Well, I guess it works as an upper eyelid. 
matter of fact, I think it works great. I kind of like it. So now I can take this eye, let's take inflate, and let's just inflate some eye here. You can even smooth it a little bit. Let's go ahead and add some, let's use our tube. Pass, snap, because we want it to stick to the thingy. So I'm just gonna make a nice little path here. I'm gonna try to do it quicker than I normally would. So we use, oh, take twist away. We wanna use radius, make this thick here, make this thin here. I hate that too. That's one of my pet peeves because it just won't go away. <laughs> Spline, make it nice and curvy. Okay, let's bring this right into the side of the eye. Oh, that's right, it's hard with snap. Turn snap off. Because with snap, it wants to stay on the surface. It doesn't want to go in, but it has to go in. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. It's looking great. I do want to make this round, but I feel like it's not gonna work. There is a trick. Uh, I think you take put this at four, and then you put this at two. Kind of works, but it's makes it so it like makes it so weird. It's so crazy. It could be perfect, but it just it's, it gets so weird. I guess it's working enough. I think. I could. There we go. Oh, I don't know what I just did. Oh, yeah. And also the, um, come on, what happened? What are we doing? Tube tool? Did I accidentally validate it? Dum dum. There we go, that's kind of what I wanted, but when did this happen? See, it kind of acts a little volatile acts a little crazy. I like that. Let's go ahead and mirror it. So now with this one, oh, I don't want to mirror them though. I don't want to mirror them because if I mirror them, then it's going to, they're going to match the whole time. And then it need to be a little bit different. Ooh, what can I do? I guess I can validate them. And then I can validate and uninstance them. That way, the only problem is I have to like move this bootleggy. Uh, I guess it's fine. Not as bad as I suspected, expected. I feel like this one should be even lower down, but I guess it's fine. Let's take two cylinders. We might not even need some. Oh, yeah, let's take two cylinders. I like using shapes. So we'll bring it up. Forward, snap. Snap it this way. Go like this. Like this. Give him his little nostrils. Mirror. Do we want to move these like forward or something? I feel like forward is a bit cute. I think I like it. I might want to, oh, I, I might want to flatten these too. Actually, they're only 290, so let's, let's remesh them. Or actually, let's do multi-res and subdivide. Multi-res and subdivide. 
Uh, maybe again. And again. Now let's see if we can voxel remesh them to like 150 or so. Okay. Gives them a little, little strength. So I'm gonna see if I can flatten. I don't know what I was just flattening. It wasn't what I wanted to flatten. Okay, it's nice. Do a little smooth, a little smoothy poo. I don't know why. I just it's like little visual things. I just don't want. I like the way it looks when it's flat too. It kind of gives it a little something. Ooh, but this is a little weird. So you know what? I think I'm gonna move this. I think maybe maybe smooth will be enough to make it a little bit more even. Yeah, it's a little better. I feel like he's missing his mouth or something okay so what do we want to do here what do we want to do maybe we'll flatten the bottom oh symmetry's off Maybe we'll just add another sphere. Oh, that looks really funny. Let's add another sphere for the lower jaw. See how that looks. I think that works. I wonder what happens if this is longer. I think it actually looks better. Would you look at that? Okay, so I kind of like that. Let's take. I feel like this lid might be too high. What do you think? I want them to look sus, but not like, yeah, I think that looks better. I think that's a little bit better. <clears throat> I should really look at a goat's mouth, but I think she'll be fine. So let's take, what are these? So what, uh, what is this? Oh, these are together some weird way. So these cylinders, oh, that's the no, let's validate. Oops. Validate, join children. Nostrils, I don't know why I'm naming this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this to the head. For now, I'm just gonna join them. What else am I adding to the head? Oh, the bottom sphere. Where is that? The lower jaw. Oh, that's here. So let's let's see what these look like voxel remeshed. They look good. Symmetry's on. We can just kind of. Oh no! It's giving me this ugly thing again. All right, I know how to fix that though. So for that, well, that's right, let's separate. Join these back up. These are the nostrils. So let's, wait, why is it not showing me? Oh, I guess it's called head one. So let's subdivide twice. Now let's see what happens. Voxel remesh. 
shouldn't be as crazy. Still kind of crazy. Still kind of crazy. I don't know what's up with that. Um, let's, let's undo. Let's box where we missed these alone. At 220. Now let's box where we mesh all of this together and see if we still have the same issue. Oh, we kind of do. That's a little bit better. That's a little better. Not impressed, but better. And we should have just voxel remeshed this silly looking sphere as well. I need to start like saving because I can feel I can feel a crash coming soon. You get to be able to feel it in your bones. I'm gonna flatten this out a little bit. Maybe even flatten a little bit more in the middle. Look at that. Crease. Let's do some crease action. Okay, I was making sure the mouth was like straight. It's hard to tell sometimes. it let's take drag let's see if we can make some make an actual smile out of this the good old drag some smoothing I think I need to bring this down a bit I liked it before, I kind of hate it now. Not sure exactly why. Actually, I think I do know why. Okay, so there's that. I think that's better. It's still, the snout is like so long, so big. I have that problem sometimes. I just like, I make the snout and the nose like too much. Like, I think I just want to split it. I split it then I can take this make it smaller move it up
give it like a little bit more of a cute factor. Something like this. I know this is all messed up now though. It's smooth. Let's take drag and this, let's kind of clean this up a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can kind of flatten this out a bit. Maybe add some clay. Just to kind of maybe he needs a little chin too. I think I like the little baby chin. Okay, so let's save voxel remesh, the split, and the head. Okay, now we have a new lease on life. I think that's better. It's still it's a little funny, but I kinda I think it's cute. Let's do layer sub, we'll make it really small and just make some, some proper, proper little nostrils. Better to smell you with, my dear. Save, I just want to box remesh this higher. Now I can, should be able to smooth this out nicely. Would you look at that? I think that's beautiful. Maybe I want to flatten out a little bit here. Maybe we'll drag this out a little bit. Smooth it out. I've gone off the deep end. I've really gone off the deep end. I think this is done. So I have to I have to figure out what I want to do to finish this rascally little character. What happens if I move the head up? I feel like he needs some angles. Sometimes angles just make things look way better. But that's something that I like I try to do when I'm drawing too. It's like you want to make things, you want to give things angles. Maybe even back here. Out. 
Look at this rascal. What? His head is kind of big. I wonder if I can do, um, let's see, gizmo, symmetry, vertex. What happens if I... Ears, ears, uh, ears. This is my ear trick. Let's just do my ear tricks. Cylinder, uh, gizmo, we'll raise it up. Okay, so this is a, like a good general ear right here. Do I just do it on a, on a circle? I'm trying to remember my ear trick. I think I just make a circle bigger. And let's validate. Then I take move, I think. Let's make it a little thinner. And then move and then uh, let's flip it. I know I'm like all over the place. Snap. Let's see how it moves. I can't remember how I used to do it. It looks crazy. Oh, well, it's actually not too bad. I'm gonna take move again. I think symmetry is off. And then just give it a little move like this. Maybe take out this part a bit. Maybe we can do some flatten because it looks a little not earish. Oh, let's uh, subdivide it, subdivide it. Let's fox or remesh it. It's, it gets crazy. Okay, smooth some of this. Let's just do a little smaller move and let's just think something like that could work. Let's see, pivot, center, pivot. Oh, didn't mean to make it smaller, but I guess it does need to be a little smaller. Definitely further back. Oh, not so bad. Maybe I'll give them like little smaller ears. I think that makes sense. That way we can see more of the thingy. And also let's round this out a little bit. I think that's good. Let me 
do clay symmetries on. I'm just gonna build on the from the head. Uh, I think it's fine actually. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and add this to a mirror. Wait a minute. What do we just do? Oh, cylinder. Add to a mirror. Validate, yes. Ears. Um, join those to the head for now. Maybe we'll do the, maybe we'll finish the body at some other time. I think the head is good for now. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Your boy needs some sleep. Oh, I kinda wanna give him two little teeth, two little teethies, right? Oh, we can give him like a little chin. This is a, this is a total mistake. This is a total mistake. Symmetry wasn't on. It actually would be a good chin for him, though. Don't you think? Just add some, like, nice little line, like lines on it. And flatten it up a little bit. And we can add some creases. You can add some reverse creases with sub. There's a little chin. It's weird, right? <laughs> it's weird. It's a little weird. Okay, so what if, what if it was like a head thing? I wonder if that would work. Interesting. Delete. Let's use inflate. And let's inflate around these horns. Let's give it a nice smooth. So smoothing. Looks good. He probably needs some eyebrows, but I think he'll be okay for now. Okay, so now let's clone this eye. I1. P1. Bring the eye out and P1 out. This is going to be the pupil. Pupil. So let's shrink it and then let's bring it out. Shrink out. And it's probably not going to work because of the, it's like a weird shape. Yeah, it's a little bit of a weird shape. So let's just go ahead and, I wish I could add a sphere and it would show up there, but apparently not. So we'll use a good old sphere again. I'm gonna, oops. I'm gonna shrink it and then I'm gonna make it a little bit more flat.
Maybe I'll just make it smaller. Might be a little easier to manage. Although another little trick that I, I forgot that I did this, I would make the eye flatter. Because you don't really notice like the front of the eye being like flatter than the rest. So now that that's flat, it should look a little bit better. I still want to flatten it up a bit. I have no idea why it's like not a perfect circle. Probably just to be annoying. So I'm gonna clone it, bring it over here. Let's take a look. As long as the eyes look like they're on the same plane, and I think they do. The only thing is, I feel like this should be a little lower even. This can be a little lower out as well. And now this eye looks like it needs to be over a little bit more and down a little bit more. <laughs> I think it's cute. I don't care what they say. I think it's cute. Okay, so these are the pupils. That's fine. Let's add... Mm, a sphere. I don't usually do sh uh, spheres for ear fluffs, but let's try it. Since I got you here, let's try it. Validate, we'll use round edge. Maybe we'll drag a bit. Kind of just want to make three of them now. Clone. Oh, this stupid thing. Yeah, I think something like that works. Now I can take all of these. Probably just voxel remesh them together. Smooth. Now we got ourselves a nice little shape that we can shrink and just stick right in there. Let me get a little smaller. Okay, 
looks all right, but it's like not in the right place. Okay, that's okay. Let's add a mirror. Both sides looks so good. I do want to add. Oh, I, I can't stop. I think this is the addiction. I literally can't stop. I want to. I want to, but I can't stop. Okay, so uh, if I validate this, which symmetry are we talking about now? I think it's the correct one. Yeah. So let's do that. Now let's switch to front and back. Which one's front and back? Is it this one? Yes. Still being a little crazy. So let's voxel remesh this shape and let's round edge it. So now it should have a mind of its own. I'm not even sure which. I feel like something like that is decent. Uh, why did it get so... I was using move. I don't know why it got so lumpy. What's that all about? Like, this part looked decent. And then it just started to get all lumpy. Blue tool is supposed to make it not lumpy. So what are we doing? All right, let's just see how this looks. Oops, off of symmetry. This is why I think that probably this is why I don't record things <laughs> unless they're like tutorials that I mean to, but there's probably some there's probably some people that are out there rocking with me, just having a good time. Probably not, but that's okay. Okay, so let's take it's actually not bad actually not bad uh, let's name uh, I, what am I doing let's name it uh, brow eyebrow let's clone it you can also do this world flip object that didn't work Eyebrow. Oh, I, you know what? I think it should be on X. Flip object. Yeah, it was on, so it's probably down here somewhere. I don't know where that went. Maybe I deleted it. Anyway, let's go back to the eyebrow. Pivot, center, pivot. Let's move this out some. it a little bit more let's use our move and just sort of finesse it to I mean I 
think I, I well, I kind of like it. They're a little, they're like way too big and everything, but they're kind of interesting. It looks better without that, actually. I need to learn how to just leave things alone. They're a little close together, though, right? I feel as though they're a little close together. Oh, you know what? This This can actually add a lot of personality. This should be down here. Yeah, this one should be down here and there should also be, where's my inflate? Symmetry off. This would actually be making a, a mark there. Because Sub off. Because of the expression, you know, like when you do that, you're, you kind of get like a little, like a bit of a mean face. There can even be a little second baby one here. Smooth it out a little bit. Keep it natural. Crease. Just to give it a little, a little bit more. Probably doesn't even need this lid. Probably does not even need this lid. Probably be much less lid. I just brought the whole thing down, but does that look better or worse? Does he need a little lid? Yeah, I think a little lid is better. So the last thing I wanted to do on these was um, crease. Because I wanted to make them a little bit, turn symmetry off. I don't know if I need to do inflate first. I want them to give, I want to give them a little, a little something. sense. I'm always going to use crease as well, but maybe that's too much. I think that might be too much texture. And maybe they might look better flat. Let's move this at least into onto the face, at least. it into the face a little bit more just so they're not that crazy otherwise I think I'm good
Oh, I think that might work. Just a little bit of a flatten, I think, would go a long way. not even like symmetrical anymore though <laughs> god i'm the worst lit pbr um let's save i don't even know when the last time i saved so lit pbr i'm gonna color it my favorite terracotta brown color that i always use but everything not just the horns come on give it the program Paint it, the roughness is good. And now the best part about what this whole thing is, is I already made the backdrop and everything. Oh, that's that's huge. Santa Maria. So if I turn this on off and turn the lights on. Okay, I gotta make it small. It's just really big. Yeah, I think this is a better size. I think that looks nice. Let's turn on post-process. We'll make these subsurface. And then we'll make them a little glossy too. Just to kind of make them stand out. But I think it looks beautiful. Let's turn this up. Let's turn these on. I guess we can turn the environment on. I think this is good. I'm just going to save it for now, and then I'm just going to export it. Let's make sure I have all the bells and whistles. Okay. That's good. Um, I'm just going to do 1080. I don't think it needs to be huge. All right. That's it. That was fun. A uh, little, little ram head. I think it's cute. I think I'll make him a little body. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. You ever see those really cool 3D sculpts and you're like, how do people make these? You're going to learn today. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Udemy course with me, Drug Free Dave. And today, we're going to sculpt Spider. So I've been drawing for over 30 years and I've been doing digital art for about 8 years and I've been doing 3D since only 2021. You can learn this stuff really quickly with Nomad Sculpt. So in today's class you're going to make Spider-Man step by step from a sphere all the way to finish rendered 
image. We're going to be working in Nomad Sculpt. It works on tablets, both iPad, iPad Pro, or Android tablets, and you can create some stunning 3D models right on your tablet. So what you learn in this class is how to use basic shapes, primitive shapes, to build the structure of our character, of Spider-Man. And then we're going to go through voxel merging and bringing things together. We're going to group things so we can move him and pose him. Hands, we're going to do the Spider-Man paint. So you're going to learn all of this in class. I'm going to walk you through everything step by step so you'll be able to follow along pretty easily as long as you have a basic understanding of Nomad Sculpt. But this is a longer class. This is a little bit more of an advanced class. So make sure that you take one of my beginner's class before you jump right into this one. I had a lot of fun sculpting this character, and I know you will too, so let's get started on our 3D Sculpt Spider-Man.